Number 14 then, what's this little bag of tail that's been thrown in for your amusement? Getting in towards the end into the big guns. Well, here you've got two functions, G and H, and it says show that G is an even function and show that H is an odd function. Okay then, well that means check what happens if with G you take X over to the other side. What happens if you put in a negative X? Do you get the same answer? Or do you get the negative of it? Ooh. Or is it not related? Well, if you put a negative X in, that means I'll have a negative X in there. And I'll have a negative X in there. Whoops, so many brackets. So that's F of negative X. And the negative of negative X is X. And that's just what you started with. I don't need to rearrange them back again, do I? Oh, why not? F of X plus f of negative x, just to make it look identical to that, which she takes you back to that again. So g of negative x turned out to give you the same answer, which means that g is an even function. It's probably just a mark. And the same here, what happens with h? What if you put negative x into h? Will it give you the same answer? Will it give you the negative of the answer, or will it be unrelated? So I put a negative x in here, and I put, whoops, a negative x in here. Now what's that then? So I've got f of negative x minus f of x, which looks similar to that. If you were to take that negative out, that would go back to this one. That would be f of x again. But then being positive, that would have to get a negative in it. But that's exactly what I want, because that's you back where you were. So h of negative x, I should have put it down in this line. So h of negative x turns out to be the negative of h of x. Well, that means that h is an odd function. Now, there's four marks. I'm not sure how that splits. If there's just a mark each and then two for the next bit, because the next bit just says... Hence show that f of x, not the h and the g, can be expressed as the sum of an even and an odd function. Well, that's fairly obvious. In fact, it's more obvious when you look at it in the paper because they've got them above each other there, rather than having them side by side. Because above each other, if you add these things together, the f of negative x's cancel out. So if you add them together, if you take 1 and you take 2 and you do 1 plus 2, you'll have... I'll write it this way first. You'll have g of x plus h of x, because they were originally on the right-hand side, is equal to, and that would be two lots of f of x. Which, reversing that, means f of x is divided by two, a half of the sum of an even and an odd function. Do you have to make a statement? I.e. the sum of an even and an odd function. You may just put that down for a wee safety net in the exam, i.e. the sum of an even and an odd function. But I'm not going to.